<laughs> he did that. Fauci did that. He just blurred out January. He just 6th blurred out January sixth at, at a Senate he- hearing. He did it. <laughs> Let's he see. was referring to. So, at a Senate. So I'm just going to show you at a Senate hearing Tuesday, Fauci said the unvaccinated people are 20 times likelier to die. 17 times likelier to be hospitalized and 10 times likelier to be infected than the vaccinated. Now that sounds like that sounds like huge numbers. It sounds like, oh, well, 10 times greater. That that's like a uh, if you had 10, you'd have 100 times. To- no. I'm going to show you how they're doing this. So, for argument's sake, when the Gallup organization looked at the hospitalization rate of unvaccinated versus vaccinated, they came up with these numbers. Now, it doesn't matter if these are the real numbers, which I think they are, but it doesn't matter. But it's I'm going to show you statistics, right? Because we've talked about this on other videos. There are three kinds of lies, lies, damn lies, and statistics. So here's a statistic. 0.1% of vaccinated people are hospitalized with COVID. That's very low. That's one in 10,914. You know how many people who are unvaccinated end up in the hospital? 0.89 percent. That's also very low. One in 112 people who get infected with the uh, COVID will be hosp- have to go to a hospital, not the ICU necessarily, but a hospital. So that's 0.89 percent. So when I put these numbers up on Twitter, people who are haters and Joe Biden supporters told me that I'm so dumb I don't know how statistics work. I said no, I do. These are both under one percent. So unvaccinated people and vaccinated people, according to Gallup, have less than a 1% chance of being hospitalized. They said, no, what that means is the unvaccinated are 89 times more likely to be hospitalized. Do you see how you can use that statistic to totally... I mean, it's pretty stupid. To totally, totally distort the threat that that you are under from COVID and hospitalization. You are 89 times more likely. That's what they were telling me on Twitter. And I'm like, you can state it that way if you want to be unbelievably inflammatory and give people the wrong idea. You could you could state it that way because that would certainly be uh, misleading. And that what and what do you fucking think Fauci's doing here when he says people are 20 times likelier to die, 17 times likely to be hospitalized, 10 times likely to be. Now, don't, I, I don't doubt that these numbers are correct. I'm saying the way they're stating these stats are there for maximum scaremongering 